students are better able to navigate the world if they can understand the perspectives of others. They will build better relationships at school, at home, and on their future jobs if they can empathize with others, including those from backgrounds and cultures that are different from their own. When we talk about social awareness, we're talking about our ability to understand others and how they feel. So in social awareness, we're talking about the ability to take the perspective of others, to think through how other people might feel in a certain situation, to appreciate diversity, to recognize emotions, to read body language, really to understand how other people may fit into the bigger picture. Social awareness is being empathetic towards someone else or the people around you. When we think about empathy, we're really thinking about our ability to put ourselves in the shoes of another person and take their perspective. And it takes intentional work. We also know appreciating diversity and showing respect for others is a critical part of social awareness. I think it's a good opportunity to have a conversation with your children that there are people that are different from us and that our response to them should be the same because we are all humans, we all have differences, and it's important to embrace the differences that we all have. And I think modeling as a parent, opening a door for someone that may be disabled or helping someone that's elderly um, with their bags and putting their bags into their trunk. Just different things that we as parents, we can model to children so that they feel comfortable knowing that it's okay to do. How would I feel is an important lesson to be talking with our young people about all the time. And not just our young people, our older students and adults. We all need to be thinking about how might that feel if I were in that situation. So if we're actually teaching that in school, what does that mean? You can start with your friend. What is Sarah thinking right now? You can do that in a myriad of ways. Teachers are so creative. We do it with books, with characters. Let's talk about this character. What is she feeling? What might she do? How would you feel in that situation? You can actually then have role plays as older kids. You know, Talk about something you went through. Talk about how you were feeling. How do you think he was feeling? How do you think she was feeling? Have that be a continuous part of conversations. And this doesn't have to be a separate social emotional lesson. It can be history, English, even math, you name it. There's always a way to talk about how others are feeling and thinking and how you could work more together. For young children, we would be very explicit about looking at facial expressions and trying to discern the difference between someone who's feeling sad and someone who's feeling angry. Because you can imagine if you're misinterpreting those signals that you may be interacting inappropriately, which can cause additional conflict, where somebody may be sad and need a hug, as opposed to someone who is angry and needs space, you wanna be able to tell the difference between those um, and really trying to understand, what if I were in that situation? When we think about people from different races, different cultures, we really have to not just think about my own feelings, but how might this feel given the differences that they have. It's all part of really trying to understand each other as humans, and you need only look at the news to see how difficult this can be and how important it is if we want to have a healthy, functioning society.